A Carnegie Institution for Science audio press release for June 27, 2012. New planet weighing technique found. Although there have been about 800 extrasolar planets discovered so far in our galaxy, the precise masses of the majority of them are still unknown, as the most common planet finding technique provides only a general idea of an object's mass. Previously, the only way to determine a planet's exact mass was if it transits, has an orbit that periodically eclipses that of its host star. Former Carnegie scientist Mercedes Lopez Morales has for the first time determined the mass of a non-transiting planet. The work is published by Astrophysical Journal Letters. Knowing a body's mass is essential first to confirm it is a planet, and if so, to determine whether it's rocky and possibly habitable or large and gassy. Until now, only the masses of transiting planets have been measured. Transiting planets are also the only type of extrasolar objects on which atmospheres have been detected. Lopez Morales, along with her colleagues Florian Rodler and Ignacia Ribas of the Institute of Space Sciences in Barcelona, Spain, measured the exact mass of a non-transiting planet. They did this using a new method that involves studying the carbon monoxide signature of the planet's atmosphere, detecting in the process the atmosphere of this non-transiting planet. The planet is called Tabu B, located in the constellation of Bootes, and it orbits a star about 50 light years from Earth that's bright enough to be visible to the naked eye. The planet is similar in size to Jupiter and is so close to its star, only eight stellar radii, that a year for this planet lasts only 3.3 Earth days. Furthermore, its surface temperature reaches 1500 degrees centigrade, making it inhospitable to life. Discovered in 1996, Tabu B was one of the first planets originally detected by the radial velocity method. This planet does not transit, but its presence and characteristics were initially determined by the wobble of its host star. This technique only provides a rough indication of a detected planet's mass. In June 2011, Lopez Morales' team conducted five hours of observations at near-infrared wavelength. They obtained data from the high-resolution spectrograph, an instrument mounted on one of the four 8.2-meter very large telescopes of the European Southern Observatory in Chile. The observations and subsequent data analysis revealed the presence of carbon monoxide in the planet's atmosphere. In addition, by studying the planet's orbital motion through the displacement of spectral lines of carbon monoxide, the team was able to calculate its exact mass, 5.6 times Jupiter, a first using this particular method and also a first for a non-transiting planet. An independent study conducted by researchers at the University of Leiden in the Netherlands obtained a similar result for the same planetary system, confirming the potential of this technique. This method represents a strong advance in the field of exoplanets. It opens a new path to determine masses of exoplanets and the composition of their atmospheres. The research team expects many more planets will be weighed using this new technique. They are also convinced that in the future, they will be able to detect molecules that are associated with the presence of life in non-transiting distant planets. The Carnegie Institution has had over 110 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.